too enthusiastic. Okay. All right. Cheers. We are in the Berry Islands. We have a new espresso maker, so we've been enjoying manual espresso lately. Just like everything Pop else on a sailboat is. Uh, it's all manual. Manual yeah. and more work. <laughs> and um, but iced espresso is incredible, and we are enjoying it. But this is a debrief. What did you think of yesterday's sail? It was 64 miles total. 11 hours. 11 hours. Left at 5 a.m. Yeah, what do you think? I think the fact that Sea Wind did 64 miles in 11 hours, that's pretty fast for her, so. Yeah, we, our average was 6.1. Yeah. 6.1, um, which is pretty fast for our little cutter. <laughs> And we were sailing with two other boats, and we all made it into the anchorage at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's m bigger boats than sea winds. So that's always like a fun when we're just like the little, the little cutter that could. Yeah, uh, a 38 foot Cabo Rico, and a 40 something odd foot Beneteau. Yeah, really nice people, and we were all in a group. Checked in on the radio a bunch of times yesterday. Forecasted to be, you know, gusting in the mid 20s by the end of the day. And that was true, more or less. We saw like 21, 22. Oh no, we, we had 24. 24. We 24. 24 was the highest gust, that's right, yeah. And um, really blow, by the, by the off, by like 11, I would say, it started to blow steady like 17, 18 knots. Mm -hmm. We were sailing. On a broad reach. Yeah, on a broad reach. There were lots of waves. Yeah, yeah. Um, confused waves. Confused waves and. Big waves. And lots of them. But Sea Wind did so good, she just continues to amaze us with how she performs. And over time, from experiencing different conditions, like we've experienced conditions similar than that, you know, to what we had yesterday before. But every time you go sailing, it's different. And slowly, like exercising a muscle, I think I've said that before, it's like we are building like a a memory bank in our bodies, not just in our minds, but in our bodies, then we remember, you know what I mean? And endurance, I would say. And endurance, true. yeah. You know, there was a few times where we saw a couple of rogue waves that were so big that we were like, well, that's kind of scary. And then you would just watch Sea Wind just kind of majestically do her thing over them. Yeah. And it was just so magical. It was a really cool experience yesterday. Yeah. We just were cool, calm, collected the whole way, and it was an exciting sail. It was like we couldn't right to the like, very end. right till you know we got the boat anchored because it was so windy. Even just in this anchorage, we were able to sail really till like the last second and um, drop the hook. We were sailing on a rum line from Freeport to Great Harbor here. And once you get to this convergence of rum lines, you actually have, we had to make a port hand turn, which means we were turning up into the wind a bit to sail towards our anchorage. We got to experience what it is like sailing with a reef in the main and just the staysail. And we were sailing with just this small compact rig doing five point, I think it was like 5.2 I saw mm -hmm. the whole time, over five knots sailing at 70 degrees, uh, up until three quarters of a mile from where we're anchored right now. And then we turned on the engine and the exhaust worked well. We were heeled over a lot, you know, yesterday and it was a good test for the exhaust system. You know, we, I even started the engine once while we were sailing, uh, just to blow anything out of the exhaust and to see if it, you know, there was anything that I noticed that was weird about the design and it all worked well. So I think the moral of the story is that we're proud of Seaman and we're, it, it just feels so different this season being in the Bahamas. We're proud of ourselves and last night was really nice. We made two like bunks out here in the cabin um, and slept for 12 hours and our anchor held and uh, now we're drinking our coffee and we're gonna make some breakfast and then probably go s actually switch our anchorage place just because mm -hmm. it's like a little it's a little and not too bad but the wind is a, the wind is forecasted to shift by the end of the weekend and we would be fairly exposed where yeah. we are right now this yeah. was this was kind of like the closest drop the anchor and let's get a really good night of sleep kind of a place yeah 
Um, so now we can kind of reposition in a more comfortable place, I think. And um, we want to like do yoga and catch up on work and yeah, and seize yeah. the day. <laughs> <That should. laughs> All right. Good job. Proud yeah, of you. Proud of you. All right. Oop, that's the wrong thing. There we go. All right. Hey, everybody. Um, so we uh, just had breakfast and the wind was forecasted to shift today, which it is actively doing at the moment. We came in last night. It was a northeast wind. Now it is going more east, which means we are a little less protected and there is more water in front of us for fetch to build. And you can see that we are almost being blown into this corner of the island. Obviously, we're not dragging, but our stern is almost facing the shore now. There is salt everywhere on the boat. <laughs> it's covered. Silence, huh? Yeah. What do you think? Good job. I think this will be a safe butt for us this week. Yeah. So. Agreed. The wind's not supposed to clock around to the west, so we'll be fine. We shouldn't go to the channel. Yeah, even south will just be oriented we'll be with way. the channel. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hello. This is our last kombucha. Last one. Last one. Oh no. Wait, do you guys hear that? Do you hear that? Silence. Silence. Look, the fruits aren't swinging back and forth. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm -hmm. The other day while we were sailing, these panels got splattered with a bunch of salt and we've noticed that they didn't output as much since then. This is how we keep our house powered, keeping these things clean so they can absorb as much as they possibly can from the sun. Each one of these solar panels is 330 watts. They're made by a company called Canadian Solar. They are not designed specifically for the marine market. They sure have worked well for us and they're holding up so far. They are designed to be outside. Take some creativity to get up here to wash them. That's our Starlink that just unstowed itself. That's our new internet we've been talking about. It draws continuously about two amps off of our inverter. And we hear that you can wire them in a different way to run them on your 12 volt system, which would take less energy. So far, we're running it off of our inverter. 
but it's things like that that are a continuous draw that can really drain your batteries but the internet that we get from Starlink is unparalleled and very much worth the energy cost this is the most convenient location I've, I've found so far to mount the, the, the dish and although it's casting a shadow right now most of the time throughout the day the sun moving and the boat moving the shadow is not on the boat most of the time right now we're in a unique situation with where the sun is rising from you can see the starling moving it's finding the direction that it needs to be into for the signal yeah, what'd you say oh, okay Katie says the internet is up now So when the boom is shading the panels, I do different things like attach a purchase system to pull the boom outboard and away from them. So there's the panels all nice and clean. Just a casual Sunday morning. Here we are anchored in Great Harbor in the northern Barry Islands. This place is considered a hurricane hole because of the 360 degree protection and boy what a difference it made compared to being out in the outer anchorage. It's gusting 20s out there and we barely feel a thing in here. This is because of the tall trees and land features blocking the wind. Once the weather calmed down, we decided to go on a dinghy mission to explore the beaches on the outside. You can see here with the 360 camera just how narrow the inlet to Great Harbor is and how tall the coral rock sides are. With our new outboard and Gami's reinforcements, we feel like the world is ours in our adventure car. This guy who's single-handing this big boat, big sailboat, we met him in Freeport. We just happened upon him again here when we were landing our dinghy. Former senior vice president at Starbucks. I don't know what senior vice president was, but... Architect by trade. And uh, of course we would run into uh, the VP suite 
of Starbucks. <laughs> anyway. Katie's been practicing. I've been doing good. Yeah, you've been doing really good. I know, you did, you're doing really good. That was the first puller. Good job. Inside Great Harbor is a marina and a few shops and restaurants. We were here on a Sunday and Monday, and mostly everything is closed on those days. But it was really cool to see what the area was like by foot. And we got to drop our garbage off. We said earlier the former senior vice president of Starbucks and he's on this beautiful sailboat monohull. Don't know exactly what it is. Um, he's having some refrigeration issues and well I have a lot of experience with refrigeration and HVAC from my family's business so I'm gonna go see if I can help him. Nice. Yeah. Well, hopefully you can figure it out and it goes relatively quickly and... Yeah. yeah you it should. Can, you can help hopefully. them out and then come back and chill. Yeah, I got my tool belt. I'm gonna go see if I can lend a hand. Maybe make some money. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best case scenario. That would be the best case scenario. But if I can just help the guy get his refrigerator back up and running, that would be a win in my book. Yeah. So. All right. Do a good job. I'll try. Be safe. See you soon, my love. Bye, I love you. I love you. How's it go that way? This way? That's better. Parker asked me to say sentimental things to the camera after he left. Uh, he's so good. And nice. And always willing to help people. And friendly. Talkative. And that's how he gets himself in these situations. Love him to death. I'm back and fingers crossed I fixed the system for the guy so that's kind of cool. Woohoo! Um, and really nice guy. Really cool to get to know him. And I came back to the most delicious, what do you call it? It's just a white bean and kale soup. But I, we had chicken bone broth and it was a coconut curry bone broth. So it was like I gave it a little creaminess and I chopped up some broccoli florets like really, really, really fine. So it's like creamy and uh, savory and hearty. It's good. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, my love. Good job. Proud of each other. You did the real genius work. Oh. I try. I like to help people. Mm -hmm. That is what I like to do is help people. So. Parker's a helper. I'm a helper. <laughs> All right. Good night. We will see you on the flip side. What are we doing? You're going to motor us to Falke. And you are going to? Work. No. I have goals today. But we have to position ourselves for? Spanish Wells. Spanish Wells. New places. 
and f get the freak out of here with all these freaking noceums. I'm so itchy. Yeah. I'm gonna go move us. Okay. Make sure the cockpit is all cleaned up. You know, I like an organized cockpit when you travel. I know that. Let me just get this thing. Security, security, security. This is sailing vessel Sea Wind exiting the Great Harbor Channel. Exiting the Great Harbor Channel, standing by on 1 6. So we are up and moving. I am taking us to Fowl Key. It's about 27 miles away, up and around these cruise ship ports up here and down onto the deep water side. And then we're gonna go down, May, what is it, halfway down the berries almost? Yeah, almost. Maybe a third of the way down the berries. And we're staging ourselves for one of two things. <laughs> we're either going to go to Nassau tomorrow, go to New Providence, or we're gonna wait and on Friday, this all depends on how the weather forecast plays out over the next, say, 12, 24 hours. Or we're going to sail to Eleuthera on Friday with a, what is it, a, so, or a south wind, huh? Yeah, south wind. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's what we have going on on this fine Wednesday. Look at the starfish, oh, huge starfish. Wow. That was the first one you've seen us here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if our dolphin friends will come again. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? So Katie has some meetings today. We have the Starlink going. Yeah. And it's so calm that we're just putzing along. Haven't motored for a while. Here. 